we lose daylight so early now. So we'll turn on the ceiling to the light. Let me get situated here. Hi. I hate sitting over here. We moved. We moved. I don't live in my little hometown anymore. I feel like yapping. I quit a job. I got a new job. I'm back at my roots at Duncan's, which is crazy to have the back issues I have in work at Duncan's. So I want to talk a little about that. I want to talk a little about some stuff. I haven't made a genuine video in a while. I also haven't made like a pain update video in a while. I literally just bitch on my TikTok about that. Oh, I hate doing my shit over here because everybody likes to look up at my window and judge me. Hey, hi, and hello. We're losing daylight so early now. It makes me depressed. It's still summer. It should be light at 8 p.m. So yeah, I quit my pet sitting job. I was getting taken advantage of. It's usually pretty hard for me to figure that out. My manager told me she wasn't gonna give me these big dogs. Literally kept giving me these big disabled dogs that literally could not get up on their own. Literally over a hundred pounds. Why you think out of all your employees that don't have back issues, the one with crippling back issues could handle that, I do not know. Literally tried to gaslight me after I left and it was very hard for me to leave because I did have favorite doggies, I did have favorite animals that were very hard for me to leave but I had to do it for my own health. You gotta do what's best for you. I spent a while looking for jobs that would be good for my back like desk jobs, receptionist jobs, any type of job like that, but um, most of them want fucking experience and most of them didn't fucking answer me. So now I'm back at Duncan's with an accommodation note that says I can't lift over 30 pounds and bending and twisting I can do very sparingly, but I do them anyways in the healthiest way I can. I was good the first few days, genuinely no pain, but that's because I got a right SI shot about a week ago and it was helping me a lot. It's my second SI shot, my fifth shot ever. Dunks is fine. I'm just in agony again. The first SI shot I got was in my left side. It was the first shot that ever helped me. They literally stood me up in the office, asked me if I could stand for it and just put the fucking needle in my back. It was the first shot they never did under supervision of an x-ray. And I had a meeting with the first doctor that gave a shit about me in my spine specialist place, thank god. She said if the right SI shot doesn't help, she's gonna give me a new MRI and we're gonna figure out another plan because this has been going on for over two years for me and it's agonizing and it has ruined and affected every little aspect of my life. I am tired as fuck. I've had a lot of mental issues. <laughs> And in the last two years, I've gotten infinitely better from all of those, but I've gotten infinitely physically worse. And like, out of all the things I've ever dealt with mentally, out of all the things that have ever affected me mentally, nothing has ever affected me more than like, my physical health and this physical shit going on with me. Nothing plummets your mental health more than like, when you feel like physical shit all the time. Everything everyone's ever put me through, like all the times I was sitting in a ball on the floor crying, I can't believe I wasted my time with that, being upset over people when I could have been like living my life not in pain. Like if I knew I was gonna be like this, I would have spent the time running and jumping and doing everything I could to jar the fuck out of my spine while I could. Just saying. So the right SI shot they did under x-ray supervision because the doctor wanted to make sure it really helped me and they really got it in there. And it did help until I started working and doing dumb things. And what really hurts me is reaching out the window, especially when people fucking pull their car way too far away. Like, please pull closer to the fucking window. Help us both out. I can't reach your fucking money and I'm gonna fucking drop your drink all over you and spill it all over you. All of our like ice cups and hot cups are obviously under the counter. So like I have to get on my hands and knees to get them. And um, it takes a lot for like my fucking, it takes a lot of strength for my legs to get up. Why is there a fruit fly in this bitch? And like, I just don't think I'm getting up correctly or healthily. It's very hard to like learn, relearn how to do everything in like a healthy way. When you've been doing it the wrong way or in like 
the easy way your whole life and watching everyone around you doing it a certain way because they're not in crippling pain. I lost my Medicaid in May because my mom was making too much and I thought household income and household size meant everyone in your household. Little did I fucking know. It just has to do with your fucking taxes and how you do them. My brother was on my case. My mom was on my case. I was putting all their income when it was just supposed to be me and mine. So now I'm trying to get that back. And there's no reason for me not to get it back. So they better give me it back. Because I haven't been able to see the people I need to see nearly as much as I need to see them. I don't even have a PCP. I've been like hoarding my medication because I can barely get them. Oh my god, I love America. Used to get $291 in fucking EBT every month. I'm not even shitting you. I'm very good at remembering numbers. Um, now I get $23 a month and they're, re re they're redetermining it right now. My redetermination was due. So I reapplied for medical as well. So why the fuck wouldn't I in this state of the world and country we're in at this moment? I was working five days a week at Dunkin's. Today was exactly a week of me working there. Last night, I just texted my manager. I was like, I want to be honest. I'm in crippling agony. Can we cut my hours down just a tiny little bit to either three or four days instead of five? So now I'm working four days and I hope it helps a little. So I definitely push myself way too hard at times and I still feel like I'm not doing enough. And I need to remind myself that my body is not in like the condition it used to be in. I can't work 55 hour work weeks. And it's crazy to me that some people have to work 80 hours a week just to try to survive and they still aren't fucking surviving. I'm in pain all the time. And I came to terms with the fact that if I have a job, any job, but especially Dunkin's, especially in fast food when I have degenerative disc disease, spinal arthritis, tears in my back what else herniated discs not healed after two years which is insane to me this all started at 22 years old the average fucking healing process time for herniated discs is like 8 to 12 weeks maximum two years for herniated discs never to heal when i've done all the steps everyone's told me to do if you do this this and this You'll be good forever. I'm being ordered to go back to physical therapy, but I don't have the money. Hence why I'm trying to get my Medicaid back. Because why do I have an $80 copay? <laughs> why do I have an $80 copay? Yeah, I'm lucky to have what I have. I know some people have it much worse. But holy fucking shit, bitch. What the fuck is that? That's also for any specialist, so I can't get the help I need. If I get my Medicaid back, when I get my Medicaid back, bitch, because I will. I'm going to start going to pain management. Because it needs to be managed. Because it has not been being managed. I'm going to get a PCP. I'm going to get diagnosed with every fucking health issue I have. And I'm not even talking mental health. Because <laughs> I've been trying to do that since I was 10 years old. Not my priority right now, motherfucker. Because I'm fine. The only thing affecting me mentally is my physical health. Not even shitting you. My life would be pretty fucking damn fine. If I was fine physically. Someone help me. I have accepted the fact, why are my hands still like this? I've accepted the fact that if I'm gonna have this type of job or any type of job, I'm gonna have to go to work and come home and do absolutely nothing. This is why I don't hang out with my friends. This is why like, I don't do shit. If you ask me to hang out the day I have work, most likely the day before work or the day after work, I'm going to say no way in hell, I'm in too much pain and I'm sleeping. It causes me severe fucking agony and I need money. I need to will I need a will to live and I will spend that money on concerts I also need to start saving money because I'm 24 fucking years old and how the fuck am I gonna how am I gonna survive I have zero dollars to my name I've worked since I was fucking 15 years old maybe 14 and that's on substance fucking abuse and mental health issues <laughs> yeah I'm sober I haven't even smoked weed since we moved I'm like fucking a month sober from fucking I haven't fucking smoked weed like I'm 100% sober from alcohol and weed if you don't think you have the strength to do something, like, ah, oh, trust me, you do. Ah, oh, trust me, you do. Because I'm pulling shit out of my soul I did not think was in there. Every day. <laughs> Every day. I don't know where it comes from. So I don't really know what else to say. I've accepted the fact that if I have a job, I'm literally just going to have to come home after and rest. And that's going to be my life. If I want money whatsoever, that's going to be my life. And I'm going to have to take time off. Like, days off at a time if I want to go to a concert, because I'm going to be in agony then too. That is my only will to live. I'm proud of myself because I'm trying, even though this is agonizing every second. 
it's ruined a lot in my life, but it's shown me the strength that I've pulled out of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I love you all. I hope you're well. The world is a shit show. I'm just trying my damn best. That's all you can fucking do. I'll be back at some point. I'll be back at some point.